Welcome to Road to Glory, episode number one. All I want to do is win a Div 1 title, so why not start from Division 10? Let's work our way through it. Let's get some confidence. Right now, I have zero confidence in playing the game. I suck. I'm awful. I need to get better, and I need to get my confidence up. So we're going to start all the way from Div 10. We're going to get 10 reward packs for winning the Division titles. It's going to be awesome. So first things first, I'm just going to select a random team to get my starter pack, and it happens to fall on the Toronto Maple Leafs, which is pretty cool because the Leafs actually have some pretty decent players. Hopefully we get them in the starting pack. So obviously our team name is going to be Road to Glory, and our abbreviation, I was trying to think of something clever, but I just decided to go with uh, RTG, Road to Glory. Now I got really lucky with my starter pack. I wanted one player and one player only, and we got him, Will Nye the Hockey Guy, William Nylander. We also got a few decent other players. We got Zadorov, we got Hartnell, uh, but definitely Willie Nylander I'm most excited for. We got Erica Branson, got an expansion player. Just a few decent players, 84 overall, all across the board. We got uh, Valerie Nachuskin from GM Mode. He was a legend. But here is what the team is looking like. Now I'm trying to make the lines perfect. Uh, we don't have that many centermen, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to move some things around. I end up uh, moving Casey Sezikis to the first line and then putting uh, Willie on the first line left wing. Now I'm just switching everyone over, putting left hand shots on the right hand and vice versa just to get those one timers up and going. Now here are my strategies. I actually found this on Reddit from a top 100 player. I copied exactly what his strategies were. He's actually another YouTuber, Sportic. Uh, he's been making videos longer than I have. This guy is an OG. So this is uh, our first game here up against a Vancouver Canucks fan. This is what his team looks like. Pretty much the exact same as ours. I'd say out of the starter pack, we probably got luckier. This is his starting team. Could be his first game. Let's go game number one. This guy's got Lou in net, so he must have got really lucky out of his starter pack or played one game and then bought a Roberto Luongo, but Willie Nylander, his shot is ridiculous. And we started playing really physical. Terabyte on the move. on the ice into the attacking zone. Kessel falls in behind him, takes the pass. He's got Bozak in front, stops, passes, scores! Joffrey Lupul! Joffrey Lupul gets things started with a nice goal, scores the first goal ever in Road to Glory history. We're going here with some uh, simple hockey, just getting pucks deep, causing turnovers, and it actually works. You got the puck in there, and we get a few shots on net, but unfortunately, we are going to uh, come up short only with the one goal in the first period. We had 11 shots, but good Branson had five of them. This guy's really physical, and he was all over the puck in the first period. For only being 84 over Overall, he is a pleasant surprise. Uh, maybe we'll upgrade him to his expansion card. Who knows? But uh, he's awesome right now. Pass up ahead. In comes Nylander. Oh, beautiful! Bullseye! Bullseye is right. What a goal from Will Nye, the hockey guy. Uh, he is awesome. He is such a cheap card, and he is so much fun to play with. He plays like an 89. Uh, I've played with him on my uh, my actual account quite a bit, and uh, he is so much fun to use. Good Branson with the shot. This guy's been so good the entire game, and Bo Bennett's going to get a stick on that one for his first goal of the game. We're up 3-0, and that is most certainly an interference call. Matt Stajan, don't even try try to argue that. You blindsided him. That's at least a five game suspension. You deserved every minute of that penalty. Keith Kincaid stands strong with a nice stop. If you remember him from Pack Attack, he was a legend. 81 overall. Doesn't matter. This guy gets the job done. We're going to go up 4 nothing here. Bo Bennett had a goal earlier. He's going to get another one with a nice move and somehow that puck gets past Roberto Luongo and we have a 4 to nothing lead. Now Goodbranson wants to make it 5-0, makes the smart play, ties the man up, and then he turns on the Jets. The guy's known for hitting, he's known for his physical play, but can he score goals? And the answer is no. He does not have the hands to do it, unfortunately. It was a nice rush, but I uh, could not finish. But it's all good because the W is all that matters. Big two points there. We are 1-0. and oh. Now, I know it's only Div 10, but it's still a nice confidence booster. 31 shots and a 4-0 victory. Now, I'm looking for the 
cheapest centerman that's pretty decent, and this guy was a beast in NHL 14 and NHL 15, Brian Boyle, 84 overall expansion card. I'm going to try him out on the first line. Now, this is the next opponent we are going up against. He has a much better team than us, like times 10. This guy has a ridiculous squad. I guess not ridiculous, but for Div 10, it's really good. Going up back-to-back -back 88 overall goalies. We had Luongo in the first game, and now we got Tuka Rask. Let's get this thing underway. And we do just that with seven minutes left in the first period. Adam Clendenning just destroys that hockey puck. Tuka Rask couldn't really do anything about that. That was a hard shot, and we have a one to nothing victory. Now Lawson Krause, the guy's like 70-something overall with the speed, turns on the Jets, but unfortunately doesn't have the hands to finish. Now I think the biggest downfall in my game was my defensive play. You can see there I made a terrible pass giving it right away, but it's okay because I made a nice defensive play there blocking the cross crease attempt. Again, now the, my defensive play was really my worst aspect of my game in Ultimate Team, so I'm really trying hard here to uh, to play right defensively. Now it may not be pretty, but all that matters is you get the job done. Now I think I'm playing much better defensively, although it is Div 10, I think that's really going to help me in the long run. Continuing with the nice defensive play, Erica Branson continues to shine there defensively, makes a nice block. William Nylander comes through, but unfortunately cannot finish with the, with the dangle there. Now let's go ahead and freeze frame this real quickly. So the smart play would be to send the puck cross crease, right? That would be a for sure goal, but not to go to Brian Boyle. That would be the dumb play, and we go right to Brian Boyle, and that sucks. We could have had a for sure goal there, but Brian Boyle either took the pass or I don't know what happened there. We got some miscommunication, but he's going to come back. TJ Oshie with a rocket tying the game at one now. Just after that Oshie goal, he's going to get a shot. Kincaid's going to save it. He's going to go right back to the point. He got denied once, but he will not be denied again. A nice shot, a nice save, but the rebound goes right to him. Now 40 seconds left. I'm shitting my pants at this point. I'm freaking out. I don't want to lose in Div 10. I don't want to be that guy. I switch up the lines a little bit. A nice feed to guess who? The hockey guy. They call him Will Nye off the crossbar. Unbelievable. Still under one minute left. Getting the shot. How does that puck not cross the line? Unreal. Good Branson is going to send that guy into next month and guess who's going to finish? Get it loose. Puck kept it front. Nylander scores! <laughs> That was my live reaction. I was so stoked on that goal because I thought I was over. I thought I was losing in Div 10, but Willie says, nope, we're headed into overtime. But before we even get to the extra frame, this guy is going to take a penalty with under five seconds left, giving me a power play in overtime. But he's not done yet. He's going to give me a five on three. Yes, a five on three. That is most certainly what you do not want in overtime, especially when Willie's on the ice. We got Brian Boyle, clutch face-off win, back to the defenseman, and that one gets blocked, unfortunately. Going back to Gabranson with the shot, and guess who? Willie! He ties the game up with seven seconds left, and he scores the overtime winner. You cannot write that any better. That is just incredible. What a shot by Gabranson, and you got Willie picking up the garbage. That is a beautiful goal. What a game. Nylander with uh, two points and that is a great first episode. Not only for the team but for Willie. The guy has three goals in two games and he seems to be leading this team or 2-0. Oh. He scores with seven seconds left and wastes no time in the extra frame. I mean a five on three. What do you really expect? But it's just awesome that, uh, that William Nylander put the icing on the cake there. What a first episode for the kid. 
kid. Uh, he's awesome. But aside from him, I want to get your guys' uh, perspective on this series. How many games do you want to see per episode? Do you want to see every single game that I play? Uh, eventually, we're going to start opening up packs, but it's obviously going to be a slow start. If you recommend any players, please let me know. Now, this was completely unintentional, but Tactics HD, he is starting up a road to glory on the exact same day. Today is Wednesday. He messaged me. He says, yeah, I have one coming out. It just so happens that I had one as well. This was not planned. It's just kind of funny how it worked out. So as uh, as one aspect, we're going to try to win a Div 1 title. That's going to be awesome. But as another aspect, it'd be nice to have a better team than Cole. Uh, eventually, we'll see how that's going to work. If you guys want to see a wager against our Road to Glory teams, you can definitely let me. Maybe we'll put some players on it or put some coins on it. But I'm excited for Road to Glory. It's how the game should be played. No money spent. Uh, we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to grind. We're going to work the market. All that good stuff. It's going to be a fun series. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know any feedback, constructive or negative. Give it to me in the comments and I will see you guys in episode number two. Willie for president. For only being 84 overall, so far he's been a pretty present supplies. Present supplies? Pleasant surprise. All over the fucking place.